And for today's video, we're doing some men at arms. Unlike the uh, Bill and Bow household troops, this has been undercoated in black because it's primarily armoured. So here we are, first stage, prime black. And here we are with the next stage of the men at arms, a very simple, all over dry brush of the belcher. And here we have the whole of the unit brought up to that previous uh, stage standard with all dry brushed with lead belcher. Now from here on in, the process becomes a little bit more individual per model. Some have perhaps a studded leather surcoats, others have cloth surcoats over their armour, which, you know, you can paint um, coats of arms on. Some helmets have some parts of the face visible, so you can paint bits of uh, flesh around the chin, etc. And of course, there's the various details on swords, weapons, and belts, and so on. So what I'll do is um, paint up details accordingly and just show each couple, a couple of models every now and again, just to illustrate the sort of uh, stages we'd go through next, like painting circuits if they're cloth, or exposed areas of flesh, or some gold or brass detailing, or leather belts, etc. So that's coming up next. Okay, having uh, said in the previous uh, snippet that uh, from now on it was going to be pretty individual per model, I've actually done another stage that applies to them all, and that is um, I've used uh, Citadel Retributor Armour for gold parts on armour and shield hilt, uh, sorry, sword hilts and buckles, etc. And anything that's going to be a lighter coloured um, area, like some sort of cloth or like the feather on that chap's uh, helmet there, I've actually painted with uh, wraith bone out of the pot. So those are the two colours I've applied here. Um, the next will be um, detailing like uh, belts um, and wood on weapon shafts or uh, flagpoles, etc. And um, then we'll start to get a little bit more individual. Okay, next update here. We've um, given all the cloth areas that were painted with um, wraith bone, given them some pre-shading with Agrax Earthshade. Um, all the armour and uh, weapon areas have been washed with milne oil, and all the belts have been painted mostly with red. Um, all that's left to, to uh, do now is um, flesh, where there are some exposed areas of flesh on some hands or like round the chin area where the visor's up on the helmet. And, um, let's see, what's that? Yeah, oh yeah, obviously some sort of coat of arms, colours or what have you, livery colours on the cloth circuits, etc. And then that'll be, that'll be it, bar the basing. And there we go, livery colours painted on top of the um, wraith bone undercoat. And uh, flesh and a bit of shading on that flesh done. All that's left to do now is base these guys. And at the end, once they're all based and I'm uh, showing you the uh, finished models, I'll uh, give a recap on each stage and what paints I've used. And there we are, all done. One unit of men at arms. Now, just to recap on the painting, stage one, prime black, as opposed to the Bill and Bow guys that I've always primed with a lighter colour. Yes, yeah, so prime black. And stage two, a heavy dry brush with some Games Workshop lead belcher after which there was some uh, gold detailing done using um, retributor armour, things like sword hilts and buckles and the like. Any areas that were going to be lighter in colour, because there was cloth circuits over the armour or like feather on the top of a helmet there, was painted with games which were wraith bone out of a pot. Then um, some pre-shading was done to that uh, those areas that had been painted like that with Agrax Earthshade. Uh, details like belts, um, wooden weapon shafts, and um, things like that were painted in after that. And the armour was given an all-over wash with null oil. Then um, final touch-ups like flesh and so on were made. And uh, the um, livery colours painted on the areas that had been painted wraith bone. And uh, pretty much that was it, apart from the basing using my normal basing things that you've seen on other uh, videos of mine, and applying the flag. So there we go, that's how I generally paint these armoured men-at-arms. 
lovely models, these um, Perry models. Always, always probably, I, I would say, it's probably one of my favourites from the Wars of the Roses range, and it's certainly the one that attracted me to, to the range, first of all. But anyway, there we go. Um, questions and comments, etc., always welcome. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you again soon.